just about to share that we bring it, you know. Yeah. And praise Almighty God for that, my brother. Tremendous growth. You're walking in that, you know. You're really walking in that. Hallelujah. I don't know if y'all noticed that. He's walking in that. Praise Almighty God. We thank all of y'all that's lifting up his holy righteous name. Yeah. And praise. Because he's he's worthy. Torah than that. 
and keep the Shabbat. So we need to deal with the whole law, Brother Blackwell. We need to deal with the whole Torah because that's the word of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's talk about marriage the way the Hebrews should do it according to Almighty Yah. We're going to discuss proper gender roles and improper gender roles. In my introduction, I want to discuss that there are a few reasons why we struggle. I'm not talking about the world. I'm talking about we Hebrews, we that keep his word. There are a few reasons why we struggle with marriage. And of course, this fits the world also. But my concern is not them per se. I'm talking about the mystical, Brother Blackwell. Those that are supposed to be a light to the world. How can we be an effective light if we are crumbling within? Hallelujah. I mean, they got some wise people in the world that'll look at us and say, hey, they ain't got, they ain't got it together. They're trying to evangelize me. I ain't trying to hear nothing they're saying. That, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. That's problematic. The elephant in the room, Sister Betty, needs to be addressed. Yeah. Even though it may hurt me and you and anybody else, it needs to be addressed. So here are a few reasons why we struggle with marriage. Number one, we are fallen men, fallen man, in our fallen nature, we seek to do our own will. That's number one, first and foremost. That's why we struggle, because of our fallen nature, wanting to do our own will. Next, we don't have a kingdom mindset. We live in a corrupted democracy. In the Bible we read, in the prayer, the prayer that we pray, that Yeshua taught us to pray, says, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, not thy democracy work it and be done. And so, you know, we're behind the eight ball because of that, because of this democracy that we live in. We were born. We don't understand kingdom principles. Next, we practice marriage Babylonian style. We live in Babylon. Yes, I'm talking about America. We're born in America where anything goes and up is, up is down, down is up, right is left, and everything is all mixed up. You know, no respect for authority. You know, no structure. Do what you want to do. Everybody have their own way. And that's problematic for us in this culture. And to be honest, it's not really anybody's fault. We were born into this. But it's up to us to get it right. We can't use that excuse. It's not my fault. I didn't know I wasn't born in this. It's up to us to study the word, restructure, recalibrate the way we're doing things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and do it right. Yes, we're at a disadvantage. And then we don't know how to or we refuse to function in our appropriate gender roles. Once again, a product of Babylon. You know, where the women going out and get it, they're doing it, they want to be like the men, and, and don't get me wrong, if a woman doing the same job that a man is doing, she should get paid the same thing. I, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about working outside of a woman's role when her primary role, especially if she has children to take care of in a household, should be something totally different, not competing with the men in the world. And, and that's what we're doing in this society. So we can have the two-car garage, we can have the $200,000 $300, home, and, and so we can have send our kids to the best of schools and all of that. And they have that, but our children are committed in suicide at a larger rate than they ever did in history. But they have all the good stuff, all the opportunities, all the benefits, and they're committing suicide. They're dyeing their hair orange green. They're tattooing themselves from their head to their toes. They're crying out, I want you, mom. I want you, dad, not the stuff. 
But we're like, gotta get them the stuff. Gotta get them stuff. Gotta get them the best schools. Gotta give them a better life than I've had. And we're losing them. Kids are growing up at 10, 11 years old. I'm not sure if I want to be a boy or a girl. Mom, Dad, can I, can I decide? And us, some of us weak beta male and women, yes, son, it's your decision. Are you kidding me? That's how far we've sunk here in Babylon when kids, the children, make their own decisions. Are you serious? There's no need in reading about Sodom and, Sodom and Gomorrah. I think we passed that point. Am I right? It is ridiculous, the stuff that we allow and discuss. Women marrying women, men marrying men. Well, that's the law. Uh, it's the law we have to abide by. Oh, really? You abide by that. This is the law I abide by. I don't care what. I'm all right. Hallelujah. Now, I know this may be considered hate speech and, hey, I don't want this to get, well, we're not trying to make money anyway, so I'm not worried about this message being demonetized, but it may get pulled a block off Facebook. I, I apologize, Brother Blackwell. That's not my intent. But we have to address the elephant in the room. Yeah. This is ridiculous. We are at odds with Almighty Yah because we really don't accept his word, many of us. We, we, we know better than to contend with Almighty Yah. So we contend with each other, Brother Blackwell. We quietly refuse to accept his design for marriage, Brother Dean. I just point blank. This is where we are today. That's my intro. So let's get into the message. Once again, please, no one shoot the messenger. Put away your weapons. Let's get through this. <laughs> I have no malice against anyone. I'm just trying to preach the word. Genesis chapter 2, verse 18 through 25. Genesis chapter 2. And Almighty Yah Elohim said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a help me for him. And out of the ground, Almighty Yah formed every beast of the field and every bird of the heavens and brought them into the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called every living creature, that was the name of it. And the man gave names to all cattle, and to the birds of the heavens, and to every beast of the field. But for man there was not found a help me for him. And Almighty Yah caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead of it. And the rib which Almighty Yah had taken from the man made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. And the man said, this is now bone of my bone, and flesh of my flesh. And she shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. Oh, happy day. Adam didn't know what he was missing, but when that woman was taken from his side, and presented to him, he knew he was blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. It is not good, Sister Mary, for a man to be alone. I don't care how strong we are, how powerful we are, powerful we are. Our Heavenly Father saw that we needed a help mate, a helper suitable 